I'm Gabriela Chang, CSO and co-founder of Etihub. I'm an industrial and product designer, an artist and writer, and I work for the Secretary of Economic Development in Chiapas, Mexico. And I was also an organic coffee producer. I'm thrilled to be here to talk with you about the amazing opportunity arising for using Web3 to solve one of the most pressing problems in this world, the unbanked farmers. I'm here to remind all of you, that blockchain initial promise was to enable a financial system where no one was left outside, excluded. Shocking data. According to the World Bank, a quarter of the world population is excluded from the traditional financial system. So this means that the only source for working capital for nearly 2 billion people is shark loans. And they often have to pay uh, of 100% interest for the little money they can borrow within their communities. Bad news, from these 2 billion people, 70% are smallholder farmers living in poverty despite producing a third of the world's food, our food. They live and work in very fragile ecosystems we all need to protect for our own sake. Money for these tiny farmers is scarce and outrageously expensive preventing them from keeping a benefit after paying the debt. Although their annual financial need accounts for almost $1 trillion annually, they are not eligible for microfinancials, microcredits, because they are not able to pay every week or every month. This is known as the poverty cycle. They are good payers. There is no record to prove it. Oh. So quite often, risk is perceived way higher than it really is. Uh, for an example. Uh, the global benchmark for grupal loans, grupal sol solidarity groups, is the, the default is less than 3%. There should be people queuing to invest in these farmers. This enormous dysfunction is also a blue ocean opportunity to build a better economic system leveraging on blockchain and crypto as catalyst for true development. The global paradox of the economy inspired us to connect complementary economic regions to benefit both parties in a win-win arbitrage, where lenders and farmers become partners that no longer pay abusive interest for loans or negative rates for the savings. Through our lending and staking platform, almost anyone in the world can invest into cure projects and earn a return while generating triple impact, social, economic, and environmental. Fintech approach to the unbanked usually is focused on data to do the credit scoring or in, in uh, assets to act as collateral. But small farmers live in areas with no connectivity and their small lands are of no commercial interest. So for them, they have designed crowd collateral, connecting DeFi to the productive economy of the real world, building a most uh, resilient model where GIL doesn't come from derivative, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> does not come from financial derivatives, but from real agriculture. And this is yield farmers backing the loans of actual farmers. The key is to leverage on crypto to develop the incentives to create the proper incentive loops, as we call. We build an international community where all stakeholders benefit from interacting. Our mission is to improve the living standard of the smallholder farmers through their own productivity. Why? Because there's no future without sustainability, and it's a huge business opportunity to leverage on blockchain and Web3 to replace and pre-internet and inefficient supply chain, transforming scarcity and inequality into abundance and true development. We are one of the most awarded and recognized as projects within the ReFi, the regenerative finance space. They say Web2, it's about competition, and Web3, about collaboration. We need to collaborate in order to solve the huge problem the planet is facing. That most, remember this, most of the greenest areas of the world is where the unbanked lived. So we need to secure their well-being to secure ours. 
We need to stop thinking financial inclusion is about solving others' problems. We need to work together using blockchain and crypto to bring back balance to humanity. Join us. It's a good business to do good. Thank you. Woo. Thank you for the optimistic message. At the end, we still have two minutes for questions, so please raise your hand. Our volunteers will bring the mic for you. No, we need that for the streaming. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Hello, hello. Yeah. There you go. Hey. Hola, Gabriela. Hola. Um, I have a question. What, what's, what's the biggest roadblock to specifically Ethic Hub scaling massively? Um, I know you've been around for a while, so I'm just wondering just you know, how do we scale Ethic Hub and projects like it to reach more farmers uh, all over the world, right? And, and obviously sort of mm -hmm. with nuances, et cetera, but what are the roadblocks? True collaboration. We started in, uh, we're in the space since 2017. We launched a platform in 2018, and it's very hard to grow with the available resources the way we start from, from zero, from scratch. And the challenge is to bring together all the actors. We are already working, we are raised, uh, 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 attending over 500 families. We are in three countries and we are growing. But the challenge is to bring more actors to the ecosystem. We work by links of trust, by circles of trust and theory of games. So we are working with, with trust here. And we are actually um, having the partnership with ICA, which is uh, an institutional entity, the Inter-American Institute for cooperation for agriculture, and we are all the, all the already doing some other partnerships uh, in order to access the farmers that are already selected by these trusted entities, and from there go down the pyramid of the social population. Shout out to Gabriela. Gracias, Gabriela. De nada. <laughs> Gracias a todos. Si tienen más preguntas, if you have more questions, you can contact me later. Thank you very much. <laughs>